what is up this is Lee we're here in the Grand Canyon and I want to talk about it's been almost a month of traveling so what I could say right now is I'm just at the point where I think Natalie feels the same way is that we're just now starting to get like comfortable with the idea that we are kind of on our own agenda that we have things that are not necessarily we kind of have planned a little bit like oh we should go here like right now we're at the Grand Canyon and it's like, okay, well, we also want to go to Zion National Park. And so we have a little bit of an agenda, but the timeline that we're so used to being on is like, go, 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 go. And right now, it's like, why? You know, what's the point of just like rushing to the next thing and instead of being in the present moment? And so right now, I feel like even though I've been focusing on being in the present moment, it's just starting to like crack open and be like, oh, look where you're at. Look where we are. Enjoy it soak it in and embrace it embrace it and that's something that's tough for a lot of people i've been talking to a lot of people um, out and about and everyone's kind of in that rush mode everyone's going from point a to point b and trying to soak everything up as much as we can but it's like oh let's cram everything all into one one piece and so there's that that balance that you're constantly Kind of struggling to walk a fine line of seeing as much as you can but also enjoying it as you go through and four weeks in just starting to feel that like the pressure is starting to come off and it's almost a little bit stressful being like oh wait is this okay am i allowed to not be all stressed out it's that much of like a detox that has to happen to get back into a i don't know maybe like a more natural rhythm of how life is supposed to be but we're also millennials and this is what, maybe it's our rite of passage as a millennial to be like, you know what? Screw mainstream and what everybody else is doing, we wanna do it our way. So a little food for thought and I'll close with that. All right guys, enjoy. All right, so we're here at the Grand Canyon National Park in the South Rim here in Arizona and we're enjoying the view. We got here this morning at sunrise and it's been a beautiful morning freezing my took us off and her like, took us off you like the accent he's acting like he's from australia uh, <laughs> we haven't even I'm, made it over there yet right soon, like, what the heck soon now look at these birds there's birds everywhere so close, so close. i'm surprised we can see the the bottoms of the birds because we're at the grand canyon and let's take a look real quick a little little snappy snap this is a uh, kind of slippery ground yeah there's no railing or anything so if I just decided to get a little bit stupid here, or yeah. Nat decides to get a little bit stupid, then we're off in the Grand Canyon, and uh, no. yeah, no one's no one's pulling we, us out we, of that we've one. We've got to go to Zion next. Yeah, so we're on our, Someone's hollering. He's, <laughs> he's trying to hear him himself echo. I'm sure. There's not gonna be any echoes. It didn't out really here. echo too good. It didn't echo. But it's that's just, okay. It's, it's just beautiful. Ridiculous. At least it's a lot warmer now because it's like 9:15 now. 9.15 in the morning and we've got like what four hours ahead of us to get to Zion mm -hmm. So we just wanted to get another little nice vantage point here and share with you. So we'll see you when Soaking we're in it in. Utah. Bye bye <laughs>